So the first thing that I wanted to do was look at how the aliens are moving. So the aliens are moving with this move aliens function and it's just moving all of the aliens a certain way. So I tried to apply it the same principle that I used before, right, and see if I could have that help me again. So that's what I did. So first of all, I put in here if game level equal equals one, right? Okay, so that's going to set up a scenario where, and then I need to put the end curly brace here, right? And then of course, what I like to do is move everything over. Just so that everything lines up just so, so visually when I look at the code, it makes sense to me. And you're going to have to come up with your own methodology for that. So that makes sense to me. So if game level equal equals one, right, where everything's normal, right? It's just the same movement code. But now I've got this if statement. So that enables me after the if statement to say on a new line, right, after this if statement, else if, and then I can put in else, right? So else if game level copy paste game level equals 2 then what I can do is I can put in this code again but I'm gonna alter it slightly and what I mean by that is what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna say for I'll put in a for loop here and in my for loop I'm gonna say once again let's loop through and target only the aliens that need to move that way so k equals 1 semicolon as long as k is let's say less than or equal to 21 semicolon k plus plus right so this will loop through not all 25 of the increments with not all 25 of the aliens it's just going to create a loop that's going to loop through only a certain number of them so now all I have to do is drop in this piece right here copy and paste and so now and this one said for the length of the array so that's not right so what I need to do is I need to get rid of this for the length of the array because we're only gonna loop through just the 21 and of course since I did that I've got to get rid of the extra statement in there no, that's good. I think, oh, there it is. There's the extra one, the extra curly brace. So now, if that is correct, what should happen is that once we get to le level two, we should only see the red guys following me. So we get to level two, and as you can see, the red guys are following me but now the green guys are not affected so now all I can do is all I have to do is target those guys for a different type of movement so how to do that so how I decided to do it was I went up to the top of my code into the init function and I did a few things first of all I added a second alien move clock so I'm just gonna put that in right now going to paste it in and I call it alien move clock 2 and it's going to fire every 300 ticks okay and then what I decided to do is go down here and you can see this is my move alien interval which calls the um, sent interval move aliens on the alien move clock what it does is it calls that move aliens function on the alien move clock and so what I'm going to do is I'm just going to have a second interval. So I copy that and paste it. And I'm going to call this one move alien interval 2. And this will be called the move aliens function 2. And it's going to use alien move clock 2. So this is going to be a whole second timer basically that will move the aliens according to the timer. So now all you need to do is, is go down here and set up the different move aliens function. So in other words this one says function move aliens, I'll copy that. 
I'll go down all the way to the bottom and I'll place it right after the first move aliens function. So right here, I'll say function move aliens two. And of course, and this is where we put our second movement. So to do this, what I did was first of all, I put if open close, open curly brace, if game level equal equals one, right? If it's game level one, there's not going to be any different types of aliens. So what we'll do is we'll just clear the interval. So I do a clear interval. Um, oops, enter clear interval move aliens move alien interval 2 right and I need the na right correct name let's make sure that's move alien interval 2 so there it is move alien interval 2 so if the game level equals 1, we can clear the move alien interval 2. We don't need it. But what we need to do now is say else if, right, what if game level equals 2? And if game level equals 2, right, we're now in the situation where we have the new type of alien and we have to come up with a different type of movement. So if game level equals, oops, not 12, equals 2, right, equal equals 2, let's first of all loop through the aliens that need to be moved in a different manner and so for that we're talking about k equals we're talking numbers 22 in our loop in our previous loop which named the aliens and gave the aliens a number like alien 0 alien 1 alien 2 alien 3 we need to target alien 22 right through 25 all right so that's what we need to loop through so we're targeting our loop here to target and place a number behind the name of the alien for just the alien we're talking about and and then this is how I decided to do this so what I decided to do is say if not aliens and then, of course, inside here, we have to target the, the alien we're talking about. So alien, right, we're talking about alien plus K. So that would be alien 22, right, or something like that, 22, 23, so on and so forth. If not, dot A, D, I, R, right? So if they do not have an A direction, right, if they haven't been given... A direction which there is no property for ADIR in other words I just made that up so this is going to evaluate to true the first time around because there is no property ADIR and I said if not aliens DIR so if this comes out to be not true which false which of course it is because there's nothing there right then this code will execute and then when it executes so this is kind of like a form of a flag you say if this variable hasn't been set yet, right, do this. Well, of course, it hasn't been set yet, so we're going to do this, and it'll happen just, let's say, once, right? So then what I do is I say my random, my random num, right? So we make a variable for my random number, and we say my random number equals math.floor which means round down, right? And we say math.floor and math.random, which gives us a random number between 0 and 1, meaning 0, 0 0.1, 0 0.2, 0 0.3, 0 0.4, all the way up to 1, times 4. So what that'll do is that'll give us a random number from 0, basically, to 4, all right? Um, and if you don't, if you don't trust it, just trace it out, right? Trace out my random 
number, right? So that you can verify that that gives you a random number from 0 to 4, right? So now you have a random number from 0 to 4. And what we're going to use that random number for is to set a direction for the alien. So then you can say if my random num is greater than or equal to, let's say, 3, you'll do something. 